This training snippet, sponsored by the Department of Energy's Office of Project Management, discusses the rationale for implementation of an over-target baseline, or OTB, and an over-target schedule, or OTS. The purpose is to provide a common understanding within DOE and among DOE contractors, and to provide consistency when the baseline is no longer deemed executable. Snippet 15B provides information on how to implement OTB and or OTS. An OTB is a project management tool that may be implemented when the cost overrun to the contract budget base, CBB, or project budget base, PBB, is formally incorporated into the performance management baseline, or PMB, for management purposes. An OTB is implemented to regain an executable baseline for performance measurement. There is no change to the contract requirements or schedule. The CBB or PBB does not change when an OTB is implemented. An OTB allows project managers to retain visibility into the original CBB or PBB while measuring performance when a contract experiences an overrun. The implementation of an OTB should not be taken lightly, as it is not uncommon for the entire process to take up to six months, which may be too long of a period without basic cost reporting, depending on the number of months or years remaining on the project. At a minimum, reporting of ACWP must continue. Please refer to Snippet 111, Varying Project and Contract Structures, or the DOE EVMS Gold Card, for information relative to the relation of the contract budget base, CBB, and project budget base, PBB. The OTB is also part of the reporting requirements required in the IPMR. This excerpt from the IPMR states that an OTB is established under exceptional cases. The OTB requires government approval. Before this replanning is initiated, the contractor and the government need to agree on how the results will be reported in the IPMR and agree to the values. The IPMR blocks 9A and 9B are used to reconcile the increased budget values to the CBB or PBB. Format 5 is used for the contractor to add any pertinent details of the formal reprogramming. Let's look at some examples of how the components of the CBB or PBB change as a result of an OTB. This chart shows EVMS budget building blocks before an over-target baseline. Before an OTB, the total allocated budget, or TAB, is equal to the CBB or PBB. The performance measurement baseline and the management reserve sum to equal the CBB or PBB. Now, look at the impact the OTB has on the chart. We are performing the OTB to create an executable plan. After the OTB, the PMB and MR are increased by the total value of the OTB. In contrast, the CBB or PBB or project target for incentives is unchanged. Total allocated budget is above the CBB or PBB, and includes the CBB or PBB plus the OTB. This graphic illustrates the baseline target, i.e. the CBB or PBB is unchanged, and the PMB is changed by adding budget to create an executable baseline based on the recognized significant overrun. An OTB may not affect all the work in the baseline. A partial OTB does not affect all work breakdown structure, or WBS elements, in the PMB, and does not make across-the-board cost schedule variance adjustments. As stated in the Change Control Guide, DOE G413.3-20, the contracting officer would only need to issue a cost growth modification to oblige additional funding without adjusting work scope. These modifications are for funding only, and do not change the original performance measurement budget. However, in situations when contract changes are resulting from both additional scope and cost overrun, the contract modifications should clearly delineate the cost and schedule associated with each category of change, as the government is responsible for additional scope, but the contractor is responsible for cost overruns. An over-target schedule, or OTS, is a condition where the baseline schedule is time phase beyond the contractual project completion date. 
the contractor may rephase the PMB schedule to new dates that exceed the contractual milestones, a condition known as an OTS, with government approval. However, these new schedule dates are for performance measurement purposes only and do not represent an agreement to modify the contract terms and conditions. In accordance with the DOE IPMR instructions, the government and the contractor shall agree on the new PMB schedule prior to reporting it in the IPMR. The contractor shall provide pertinent information in Format 5 on any schedule milestones that are inconsistent with contractual milestones, beginning the month the OTS is implemented and each month thereafter. While an OTS may be implemented without adding additional budget, normally an OTS also results in an OTB. An OTS is when the baseline schedule is time-phased beyond the project completion date, when the planned completion date for all remaining contract work results in a forecasted date well beyond the contract completion date, an over-target schedule should be considered. The OTS does not relieve either the contractor or customer from contractual obligations, such as schedule deliveries or completion dates, incentive fee loss, or penalties. While an OTS may be implemented without adding additional budget via an OTB, this is not normally the case. Typically, an increase in schedule will also require an increased budget allocation. Therefore, an OTS and an OTB are normally implemented simultaneously. The primary purpose for implementing an over-target baseline is that it improves managerial control over the remaining project. While it results in a new baseline that is now over the contract budget base, it has been proven that it improves control of the remaining contract work. Indications that an OTB should be considered include The original baseline is no longer realistic, and managers cease to recognize it as an achievable goal. The performance measurement information from an unrealistic baseline is not valid and cannot be used for decision-making. All attention is often directed toward the ever-increasing estimate at completion, with little interest or sensitivity to the schedule or newly developing, potentially correctable cost and schedule problems. Both the government and the contractor need to track the differences in the baseline schedule to the forecast schedule to ensure the projected cost overruns align with the forecast schedule as necessary. In other words, don't just address that it is costing more. Also ensure that any schedule delays are identified. The purpose of an over-target schedule is to facilitate continued sound management practices to complete all work beyond the contract and project CD4 completion date. This is an illustration of both an over-target baseline and an over-target schedule. Notice the performance measurement baseline from time now to planned completion. In this example, the decision was made to eliminate both cost and schedule variances, so BCWS and BCWP were set equal to ACWP. Note, as explained later in this snippet, setting BCWS and BCWP equal to ACWP is not a preferred option because the historical efficiencies go away with the elimination of the variances. We can see on the graphic that the baseline to accomplish all authorized work extends well over the contract budget base, as well as beyond the contract completion date. The OTB and OTS are implemented solely for planning, controlling, and measuring performance on already authorized work. As stated in the referenced OTB and OTS guide, the contractor's execution of an OTB must be affordable and within the customer's internally approved funding for the project, unless supported by contract investment. The determination of the OTB value by the contractor does not require current funding to be in place before approving or implementing an OTB and or OTS. However, if the resulting EAC exceeds the current funding or authorization levels, the federal project director must decide whether to de-scope the contract or seek additional funds by executing a baseline change proposal, referred to as a BCP, to increase the total project cost, or TPC. An OTB in excess of the authorization does not constitute an Anti-Deficiency Act violation, 
but the federal project director must take action to prevent a potential violation. The estimate at completion, or EAC, in excess of either the CBB or PBB, or in excess of the TPC, would drive the need for additional funding and may be used to start the process to utilize contingency or execute a BCP. If the federal project director requests authorization of an OTB and OTS, the contracting officer will need to issue a cost overrun modification to obligate additional funding without adjusting work scope. The cost overrun modification is for funding only. The contractor is not entitled to more fee under the contract for a cost overrun, and the contractor does not increase the CBB or PBB by the amount of the negotiated cost overrun modification. An OTB and OTS do not change the contract estimated cost, fee, and or contract schedule. If the plan schedule results in an OTS situation, both parties must recognize that the existing contract milestone schedule remains in effect for purposes of contract administration and execution. The new dates in the OTS are for performance measurement purposes only and do not represent an agreement to modify the contract fee, schedule, terms, or conditions. The contracting officer will only issue a modification for the cost overrun. The OTB is the sum of CBB or PBB and the recognized overrun. The customer may negotiate consideration via a contract change. These are a few of the considerations and existing conditions to help guide the decision whether to proceed to an OTB. These recommendations are provided from DOD's OTB and OTS guide and are based on benchmarking and experience. Wait for a short period, let the dynamics of a risky project be moderated. It is potentially premature to begin discussing an OTB any sooner than 20% of project completion. While too soon is a factor to consider, too late is another. There should be substantial work and time remaining. 18 months remaining is a suggested amount to allow time to establish and implement the OTB, with at least 12 months to execute the resulting performance measurement baseline. Of course, the estimate to complete the remaining work should be substantially more than the budgeted cost for work remaining, called the BCWR. How much should the ETC be over and above the BCWR? A good parameter is 15%. These rules of thumb are based on the cost trade-offs involved with a total project OTB decision. An OTB is costly in that it takes up to six months to implement and requires a total project assessment of the future to a new schedule and resource plan. There should be time remaining and adequate budget where performance measurement benefits outweigh the cost of implementation. The integrated baseline review is a proven tool to assess the remaining technical scope, cost, and schedule risks associated with the integrated PMB. The integrated baseline review approach includes an integrated assessment of the achievability of the baseline plan for accomplishing the remaining work which is a key to determining the need for an OTB and or OTS. Check the snippet library for snippet 1.8, the integrated baseline review process for additional information. There are two primary references for this snippet. DOE follows the Department of Defense's approach to over-target baselines and over-target schedules as stated in the OTB and OTS Guide, dated 1205-2012, issued by the Department of Defense. The second reference is DOE's 413.3-20 Change Control Management Guide. This guide provides information regarding OTB and OTS in terms of modifications necessary to maintain contract alignment with the project. Now that we understand why an over-target baseline or over-target schedule may be necessary, refer to snippet 1-5b entitled How to Implement an OTB and or OTS. For additional information relative to EVMS procedures, templates, helpful references, more snippets, and training materials, please refer to DOEPM's external EVM homepage or the internal max.gov PM library. Check back periodically for updated or new information. Thank you for using the Snippet Library.